Hi everybody, Merry Christmas. Welcome to our home. So it's really cold outside or I would be out there telling you about the beautiful magnolia wreath on my front door, but it's from right down the road from a place called Weston Farms and you can order from all over the country. They make the most beautiful magnolia garlands and wreaths and they just are just spectacular and you can keep them. They dry, they get a little bit brown, but they're still beautiful. So I'm gonna keep this one for a couple of years and then I'll spray paint it gold and use it somewhere else because they're just wonderful. So I wanted to tell you about that beautiful wreath. And then this is what we call our parlor. I have so many new followers and I know some of you may have already seen this, but last year I recovered the furniture. I just went through a phase in my life where everything was kind of dark and moody and that was fine, but now I'm feeling a little different and I want everything to be light and happy. So I've always loved pink and orange together. So I covered the furniture in pink and orange and I just love the way it turned out. And in this room, we have a gold ceiling, so it's always kind of festive, but I just draped the mantle and then I added some gold, like feathery little, I don't even know what you call them. I just filled the urns with gold pine cones and all kinds of glittery gold things. And it's really simple, but I love the way it turned out. And then I have just a few things over here that I wanna show you. My dad, when he was alive, he was a wood carver and some of the Santas that he made, I always put out every year at Christmas. And my girls have some of them, but he carved all kinds of, of wooden Santas and little animals, and he made Windsor chairs. So those are a few of his Santas. And then some of these things are things that I've collected just from years and years um, of having Christmas. I got this in Germany one year, and it's just so nice to have these things that you pull out and use again year after year and all of the memories that you associate with them. So this room doesn't really have a huge amount of Christmas in it, but I'm not one to really go overboard with Christmas, but I do like to bring out all the things that we've loved forever and ever and just make everything look festive. So one thing I really love, and I know you all do too, are candles. I love candles burning all year long, but especially during the holidays. So I always have a candle in my entry. I found this one in Blowing Rock when I went for a wedding and it just smells so good. And this table is new since the last time I did a, a holiday tour. And I just really love the Lucite in here. I think it makes it feel a little bit more contemporary because the house is so old and traditional and I try to keep it from feeling stuffy. And so I like to add a little contemporary touch every now and then. And um, I recovered the benches and I'm just absolutely in love with this fabric. I think it's so beautiful. So, you know, not much here for, for Christmas. I did put my mercury glass Christmas trees and I think they're really pretty with the candle and then the, the banister is draped with greenery and it's just enough. It's enough to make it feel special and Christmassy without being overdone. So this is the first time in a really long time that we've had two Christmas trees. But I went to get the Christmas tree, brought it home, thought it was beautiful because I like a tall skinny tree and it was too small. So we put it in here and I think it looks great. And this is the room we're gonna have Christmas in this year. It's kind of small, but there's nothing in here that's gonna get broken and I'm gonna get upset about. We have four grandchildren this year. It is going to be wild. And so I just thought, why not? We'll take some of the chairs out. We'll take the ottoman out and they can have a free for all. We may not be able to sit down, but it's gonna be so much fun. So my trees, I don't do a theme tree because we have so many ornaments that we've had for years and years and years. And there's a story behind all of these ornaments. This is a VA tree ornament that I found at the VA Tree Outlet. This little picture frame has a picture of my daughter, Sarah. This was a gift from a friend. This one, 
I don't really remember, but it's a Hawaiian Santa, which I think is hysterical, and we've just had it forever. And so, and this, these little, I can't remember the name of these snow babies, maybe, and it spells joy. So I'll come in here. I don't ever hang them together, but I'll come in here. My husband will have taken everything and rearranged so you can see the J-O-Y. And this has been going on for years. So all of these ornaments really are very special. Every single year, my husband gives all of us a um, Christopher Radko ornament. So we have quite a collection. Most of the Radko ones are in the living room, but so that's why I don't have a theme tree and I actually don't have a star right now. And my little two-year-old grandson came yesterday and he said, where's your star? So I have to get, I have to get a star, but I just am not used to having two trees. So still a little work to do, but I am basically finished. So now I want to show you what really is my favorite room. So this room is probably my favorite room. And ironically, it won't be here next year. We are renovating because our family has gotten so large and because our kitchen is small, our living spaces are small. So we're gonna open up the whole area and this room will be part of the kitchen living space. And I'm really excited about that, but it is such a great light filled room. And it still will be just in a different um, iteration. So, um, I love this room because of the vaulted ceiling, but I also love this room because of this fabulous light fixture. My friend Britt found it at an antique store for me when we moved into this house and she called me and said, you have to have this. And she got it for me. I just trusted her and it really has been one of my favorite things and, and I'll figure out a way to use it again. And then these mercury glass ornaments um, I had three balls and broke one last year and it really broke my heart because they were, I'm going to say antique. They were really old, but you know, you use things and it happens. So I did have these two huge mercury glass pine cones that I hung instead. I love to hang a little something from the chandelier. And so this room is pink and purple and green and the carpet just or the rug kind of shows through the clear glass table and I like to decorate with um, with pink and green and so I just have a beautiful bowl in the middle of the table filled with pomegranates this is where we normally eat Christmas breakfast and it's been perfect because there were six adults and now I have three daughters and they have a husband so maybe Garrick and I can just eat in the kitchen. I don't know if with the kids because we just have so many people now. And this will be the first year we've all been together in three years. So I'm very, very excited about the chaos. I have a fully stocked bar if it gets too bad. So we can um, take the edge off a little bit if necessary. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And this is where we will somehow eat Christmas breakfast. So this is the room that I spend the most time in, if you don't count when I sleep, because of doing the cooking videos and just cooking dinner, just living. Um, and this room is going to be part of the renovation to our kitchen. I'm so excited to have a bigger kitchen. This one has been great, but again, like I said, when we started the video, the cabinets are black and now I just want everything to be white and I want it to be light and a wall of windows and more storage because I'm cooking more and more and I'm so excited about that. So in here, as far as decorating, I have some just pretty little Christmas trees that I put in front of the window, some Christmas dish towels. Um, I love the VA tree, Santa Claus, um, pattern and so I'll, I'll use the mugs at Christmas and I just think they're such a nice little festive touch and I love that the atri is in Hillsborough. The, the outlet is there and it's just a local company and so that's a special thing. Um, I love to have a bowl of oranges in the middle of the counter. My grandsons, if they came over today, they would eat most of them because they just feel like they're candy. 
and then they would ask for candy or maybe they would ask for candy and I would say, no, you have to have an orange first. But anyway, um, it's just a lot of fun, this kitchen. I have on the refrigerator over here, I have drawings that my grandson Hudson made. I don't remember. They've been hanging there for forever. We just clean around them because they're so cute. So it's just, this is a, this is a house that's been lived in a lot and it is now time to, to redo some things, but I'm happy that we're gonna be able to do that. But I also feel very grateful that, you know, we've been able to live here all these years, 17 years it's been, it's, it just went by so quickly. But anyway, it's an old house. It has lots of quirks, so this renovation should be interesting. But this is the kitchen, not anything crazy, but Christmas morning, it will be filled with breakfast, smoked salmon, pastries, um, croissants from Williams Sonoma always and grits because we're Southern and hash brown casserole because we're Southern and all that stuff. So anyway, and also part of my cookbook collection, I have probably 700 cookbooks and they're stuffed all over the house and I still use them all. And I think I told this story at some point, but when my girls were little, they would draw me pictures all the time and I never knew what to do with them and I didn't want to throw them away. So I would stick them inside of my cookbooks and I still find unexpected pictures that, um, that the girls drew me when they were little. And it's nice to flip through a cookbook and all of a sudden it'd be like, oh, there's a picture from, I don't know, 2002 or whatever that one of them drew me. So that's a sweet memory. And my cookbooks will always have a place in the kitchen. Okay, so now we're in our dining room and this is a very kind of Southern dining room. When we moved in, there were still the little bells in the floor where you could call the, um, the maid. And I try to call the maid, but she never comes anymore. So um, anyway, we, we did some renovations and took out that little bell system because it was all over the walls as well. But anyway, that's kind of an interesting thing. But the wallpaper is by Zubair. It's also in the White House. It's the seven scenes of America. And it used to be seven scenes, but somewhere along the way, um, the other three walls were taken down. So there's one wall left, um, Niagara Falls, and um, uh, something in West Virginia, I can't remember. Anyway, it's the Zubair wallpaper and it's just beautiful. It's a little damaged because it's been hanging here since the 1940s, but it's just something that I've really come to appreciate. So um, that's the special thing about the dining room. And then um, we wanted to have a table that was big enough to seat everybody so we can seat 12 people at this dining room table it's a little tight with some of the big guys but i just tell them tuck their elbows in they'll be fine so i did i wanted to do some kind of um, food without setting the table and having a whole meal so i decided to do a fun little dessert buffet i'm going to do a separate video and tell you guys exactly how i did it because it was inexpensive, it was easy, but I think it's so pretty. And sometimes, especially with dessert, you want it to be delicious, but you also want it to really be a feast for the eyes. So this is my dessert buffet. And for the centerpiece this year, I did something different. I went to Lowe's and I bought a little round vanity mirror that's gold around the edges. It cost, I think it was $60. And then I just took all of my Christmas trees this is from Pier 1, really cheap. This is a vintage mercury glass ornament. It's a tree topper. It was not really cheap. So I've just mixed different things on this tray and then I put some votive candles and it all just reflects off of the mirror in the middle of the table and it sparkles. And I think it's so pretty, especially at night. I forgot to light these candles, but I love these big pillar candles. And again, they kind of add a bit of a contemporary touch to an otherwise very traditional room. And then I wanna mention these pine cones because I found them in Richmond at one of my very favorite boutiques called Creme de la Creme. And I've found the most beautiful things in that boutique. Everything in there, or most everything in there, is French, made in France, and 
it's just a beautiful place. So I saw those and knew they would be perfect for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. And I was right, they're perfect. So I love those and I just wanted to mention where I got those. And then everything else, some, some of my dishes are new. I found this at a little antique store. This is a very old cake stand. Um, I love to collect candy dishes and this is a beautiful old candy dish a uh, vintage cake stand. So I just kind of mix it up. I use my new stuff with my old stuff. There's a platter over there. That was my mother's. And I just love to collect dishes and beautiful pieces and mix and match them in different ways every year. This table has never been the same since we've lived here. Every year I do it differently, probably because I don't remember what I did the year before. I'd have to go back and look at pictures. But anyway, this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm really happy with it and I think it's fun. All right, so this is Amos's room and I am not even kidding. <laughs> This room has windows on three walls and he sits in here and barks at squirrels. So normally all of the chairs are covered with big towels because, well, he's a dog. <laughs> so <laughs> I did take the towels off for the video, but you know, he's part of the family. So we just give him his own room. But so in here, um, you can see all of the outdoor decorations. This is just, this is another one of my favorite rooms. I just love the light. So I just have a pink poinsettia in here. This is a little truck that I found for my grandson at Hobby Lobby. My husband bought an old truck this year. We won't talk about that. But um, anyway, I bought this for my grandson and he calls it Pops' truck. So I set that here for him. And then this is a, a vintage, you can tell, it almost looks like evil Santa. Um, I don't know why they made the Santas look so crazy years ago, but this is a music box that my daughter found and gave to my husband one year for Christmas. So this goes out every year and it's just kind of a funny, a funny thing. So anyway, this, um, this room is just great to sit in and read and we do use it a lot, not quite as much as Amos, but we do love this room. So this is the last room that I'm going to show you. Um, this is the smallest Christmas tree that we've ever had, but I really like a tall skinny tree because this room is not large. Um, sometimes in pictures it looks way bigger than it is, but it's filled with old ornaments that we've had forever and ever. And most of th these are Radco, some of them are not, but you know, all of them have a story. My daughter, Sarah, loves pigs. So there's her pig and there's the Muffy Vander Bear and just so many beautiful um, ornaments that really have a lot of meaning. And so every year it takes forever. We pull out the lights, we decorate the tree. And I always think, goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to take this all back down again but it's fun and I wouldn't have it any other way. So this room is really cozy and we do, we really use this house and we use this room. Um, usually this is where we are on Christmas morning, but I think this year it's gonna have to be a little bit different. But so the Christmas tree, then I just fill bowls with Hershey Kisses and I have some little bells around and it just feels sparkly. And I think, um, I want to show you this light fixture because this was this was crazy. I think this is a couple of years old now. And one of my favorite things we've done in the house, I did a video of my husband putting it together. It took forever, but um, I love it. I love the way the light bounces off the ceiling. I love the way it looks from the outside. And, you know, the longer we live here, the more things we do and you know, the more meaning the home has to us because we're just creating memories. So anyway, this is our house tour for 2023. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you all have a really Merry Christmas.